Welcome to the world of the Nigerian Premier Football League. Today on the show, we talk to one of the longest serving NPFL coach, Abdul Maikaba. Take a tour of the Lake on Salami Stadium in Ibadan. This and more on today's show. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Start the show with some quick stories around the NPFL. Ayimba announced Juan Kokano as the new chairman. The Abia State Government has confirmed former Eagles and Arsenal star Juan Kokano as the new executive chairman of Ayimba. Kano takes over from Felix Aniasi Agu, who headed the People's Elephant for 24 years, winning the CAF Champions League twice and the NPFL a record nine times. What a huge shoe to feel, Papilo! Ayimba and Remo Stars FC crash out of the CAF Champions League. It was a bad day for Nigerian teams in the CAF Champions League as Ayimba lost out to Al Ali Benghazi of Libya in the first preliminary round after being forced to a goalless draw in Abba. They lost the first leg 4 3. And since 2015, this is the first time they've been eliminated at this stage of the competition. In Ikene, Remo Stars FC lost out on penalties 3-2 to Medema FC of Ghana. Although the Sky Blue Stars won the return leg 1-0 for a 1-1 aggregate score, but couldn't hold their nerves in the penalty shootout that ensued, paving the way for the Ghanaians to progress at their expense. Time to head to the city of Enugu in the southeastern part of Nigeria where Rangers FC are based as we meet up with one of the longest serving coach in the NPFL, Abdul Maikaba. We delve into his world as he tells us how he started coaching. I, I started coaching in the 90s, late 90s. Uh, I was encouraged by uh, Coach Kadri Ikana. Uh, when I was handling the Canos Pillars feeder team, he encouraged me to come into the senior team as his assistant. And from there, when he was leaving, he recommended me to be the head coach at my young age. And uh, I took the challenge because uh, our senior colleague have recommended me to do the job and I believe he saw something in me, so I was encouraged to continue. At that time, I was a civil servant, uh, teaching in a secondary school, as I have said earlier. I graduated of physics from Bayro University, uh, Khan, and uh, I even proceeded to have a postgraduate diploma in management, and then uh, a master's in business at me. So uh, actually I like football. With all this I have I I decided to be a coach. People have seen the talent in me so they, they will not allow me rest as a teacher. They want me to be in football. Uh, it was then uh, Nuhu Ribadu, uh, no before Nuhu Ribadu, uh, uh, a Frenchman called Mr. Lagouche is from a club in Kanu called the Buffaloes, where I produce players like Bello Kofa Mata, the Let, Bello Kofa Mata, Twepilos Apelokai, Chinedu Odoji, Gambo Mohamed, all from the same team. With every coach having their own philosophy and style of play, Abdul Maikaba is known for playing, entertaining and attacking football with short passes. He was inspired watching the Brazil 1982 World Cup team and also by working with Kadri Ikana and the late Amodu Shwaibo. Brazil 1982 World Cup team motivates me to even be a coach. I respect the coach that work with that team that is Tele Santana. 
I like their philosophy, the way they play football, uh, entertaining, attacking uh, football, uh, with short passing game, and uh, a lot of individual talent you can see in the team, like Zico, Socrates, Falcao. So they encouraged me a lot. That team encouraged me a lot to be a football coach. But even at the local scene, I followed Amadou Shahebu very well. The late Amadou Shahebu, uh, I followed him very well. I can remember I was assisting uh, Kadri Ikrana in Kano Pillars. We played Sharks in Jaws in the FA Cup semi-final. Uh, I confessed that the, that we met a better team. And uh, I really want to be close to this coach that is coaching this team. And that was Amadou Shahidou that time. That was the first time I know him closely. I want to introduce myself. I like the way your team plays football and I want to follow you. I want to learn a lot from you. He was so happy and uh, from that time we knew ourselves and uh, we have been meeting at a time to talk about football. As one of the longest serving coach in the league, he talks about the improvement in security, organization and funding of the NPFL this season. I believe uh, there is improvement in all aspects, better officiating, better features and even the security network is better because every week in our previous league you have a center where there is violence. Now maybe we get one in six, five weeks. We get one issue of violence in five, six weeks. It means it's getting to minimum. Now. So IMC have tried a lot and uh, we can see even before the commencement of the league, they gave all the teams a take-up grant, which uh, it has happened before, but it's long. Now IMC have revived and encouraged the teams uh, financially to start the season. Uh, it's good for Nigerian football. And uh, now that uh, what we can see in this season, you can understand that uh, team can go anywhere and win game. I think one of the season that we get the highest number of away wins. I think uh, there is improvement in all aspects and uh, we have to give kudos to IMC. Time to take a break, but we'll be back with our trivia for the week. Welcome back. On our Trivia of the Week, we ask, who scored the first goal in the 2022-2023 NPFL season? Drop your answers in the comment section and you stand a chance to win a prize from our sponsors. Today's play of the week, we take a look at the Ogbono Feli Feli free kick scored by Bendel Insurance FC striker Imade Osaro Kwang on match day 10 against Yimba FC. And, uh, another additional player down in case Imade just below! What a hit! What a fabulous goal from Imade Osaro Well, they call him the Black Bullet. And that was rifled in like a bullet past Chernobyl. Imade is proven to be one of the best strikers in the country at the moment. And we shall hope that this is the start of great things to come from him.
Let's go to Ibado, the capital city of Oyo State and the third most popular city in Nigeria after Lagos and Kano. Ibado is the home of one of the oldest and biggest football teams in the NPFL and the country, Shooting Stars FC, formerly called 3SC. They play their home games in the Lake on Salami Stadium. The Lake on Salami Stadium, formerly called Adama Singa Stadium, was built in 1976 but was officially opened in 1988. With a capacity of 10,000 people, the stadium has played home to Shooting Stars FC, who won the NPFL in 1993. Formerly called Adama Singa Stadium, the stadium was renamed Lake on Salami Stadium in 1998 in honor of Chief Lake on Salami by the Oyo State Military Governor, Hakmed Usman. The people of Ibadan are ardent lovers of their darling team, Shooting Stars FC, as they usually troop out in their numbers to support their team whenever they play, as they are very loud and proud, which is kind of like the traits of Oyo people. If you haven't watched the game live at the Lake on Salami Stadium, I suggest that you put it in your to-do list for the season. Time to have some fun, we put a Yimba FC centre-back Adeleke Adekunle on the hot seat as he answers some rapid-fire questions. Ferrari. Davido, my name's Sik. Fried rice. <laughs> Vegas. Boobs. It's time to go on the show, but not without leaving you with a stunning fact. Did you know that Bendel Insurance FC holds the record for the longest unbeaten run, which stands at 21 games, with 8 wins and 13 draws? Well, time will tell how long that record is gonna stand. See you guys at the next episode. Odago, Gaudi, Bangwana. Are listening to a Legbete TV radio.